by Fatima. Episode 6, The Portal. Tara and David were siblings and had just returned from school. Tara was 12 and David was 6 years old. That was a long day at school, said Tara. Yeah, I'm going to go play now, said David. Okay, I'll come in a minute, said Tara. When Tara got home, she decided to pick out her outfit for the next day. She opened her closet and pulled out one of her shirts. As Tara removed it, she saw something in her closet. It was gold and glowing and started to get bigger. It looked like it was a portal. The portal started to suck the clothes in and Tara almost got pulled in too. What on earth is going on, said Tara. She held on to the wall so she wouldn't get sucked in. The portal was getting out of control. Tara saw her door opening. David walked in to see what was going on. He came inside and also saw the portal. The portal was also starting to pull in David. What's going on? asked David. Hold on to something, yelled Tara. Okay, said David warringly. David tried to hold on to something, but he couldn't do it fast enough and he got sucked in. The portal closed just before Tara could jump in. David was gone. No! shouted Tara. Tara's parents heard Tara shout and they went to see what was going on. She started explaining what had happened. Mom, Dad, something horrible has happened. David just got sucked into a portal, said Tara in a worried way. What? shouted Tara's mother. Tell us everything. Where was the portal? asked Tara's father. Tara brought her parents to her closet and told them David got sucked into there. He got sucked in the portal, and I tried to save him, but the portal closed, said Tara. Tara's father looked in the closet and didn't see anything. Tara also looked in the closet and saw soil. What's the soil doing in here, asked Tara. Maybe the soil came from the portal, said Tara's mother. They spent all night thinking of where David could be and how they could get him back. While they were still trying to think of a way to get him back, Tara fell asleep. Tara's mother went to get coffee to stay awake. She left and the portal opened again. Tara woke up. It's the portal. It opened again, said Tara. It did the same thing. It first opened and got bigger. The portal started sucking things in again. Tara and her father tried holding out, but this time it was stronger. The fingers slipped off the wall. The portal pulled them in and it closed up. Tara and her father fell through. They saw that they had fallen in a place that seemed to be underground. We have to find David and then find a way to get back, said her father. Tara and her father went looking for David. They walked and walked. How far did David go, said Tara. After walking for a while, they saw an underground village. An underground village, said Tara. They went in the village to ask some questions. As they went farther in the village, they saw creatures that had a similar body to humans, but they were much taller. They had sharp claws, and they all had long hair. They were blue and purple colored, and had eyes like horses. One of the creatures went up to them and started talking in different language. The creatures pointed arrows at them and pushed them and made them walk. They brought them to a large structure that looked like a castle. I wonder where they're taking us, said Tara. They stopped walking and Tara and her father saw two of the creatures sitting on a throne. These must be their leaders, said Tara's father. The creatures started to talk to them, but they still couldn't understand them. After talking for a while, they started to take them to a room. There they saw David. He was sitting on a small bed and nothing bad had happened to him. David, you're okay, said Tara. She ran to him and gave him a hug. The creatures at first pointed sharp arrows at me. But then they gave me a room, and I don't know why, said David. They gave me water and food, too, said David. The creatures pointed outside of the room and walked out. I think they want us to follow them, said Tara's father. They went to see where the creatures were going. They followed them, and they took them to the place where they had fallen through. But there wasn't a portal there. Just wait, I think the portal will open again, said their father. The creatures began to show them drawings. It was drawings of people and the creatures. The creatures made Tara, David, and their father understand that the portal only opens after a very long time for three short intervals. 
Once it has opened three times, it closes completely again until a long time has passed. Some humans had once attacked the creatures and destroyed their city. People keep coming through the portals, but they didn't know who they could trust. So every time they had to take precaution. The king and queen would talk and get to know the humans that come through the portal to assess whether they are friendly or hostile. Everything made sense to Tara, David, and their father now. That's why they first brought us to the leaders before taking us to David, said Tara. If the portal opens three times, then it is going to open one more time, and we have to go in quickly, said David. Yes, we will, replied their father. They waited patiently with the creatures for the portal to open again. After a little while, the portal opened again, and when they got home, they decided to find out a way to keep the portal open and talk about becoming friends. They got home, and the mother ran and gave them all a hug. What happened? asked the mother. We have so much to tell you, said Tara. Tara, David, and their father told the mother about everything that had happened.